Well, this is our Podiversary episode. Um, it's officially been two years. I think my first video was posted on October 9th or the 8th. Either way, that was the weekend and I was busy. Today is Monday, October 10th, 2022, and we are officially celebrating our Podiversary. So thanks to everyone who's been along the ride for the past two years, no matter where you came into the journey. And for those of you that are coming into the journey now, welcome. And yeah, with that, new year, new boogie. Let's get into it. Take 51. What's good, peace bakers? Welcome back to another episode of the Peace for Peace Crafting Podcast. I'm Michael, and this is my crafty corner of the YouTube universe. If you would like to find me on any other social media, you can do so by following me over on Instagram as Peace for Peace Crafting and on Ravelry as Peace for Peace Crafts. If you're into music, sorry, I totally forgot what came next. <laughs> if you're into music, uh, and you have Spotify, you can go over and you can check the playlist that's over there at Peace for Peace Crafting Podcast Playlist. That is a mouthful, that is a lot to say. Happy start to year three, everyone. I can't believe it, it's kind of wild. Um, here we are. Big shout out to, well, first of all, stop, let me pause. I'm getting ahead of myself. If you are new, and I know that there's a bunch of you who subscribed after the last video, if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button and uh, following along in the silliness. And if you're returning, you already know what's good. Welcome back to the Hot Mess Show. <laughs> we never know what's gonna happen. Um, right, so what I was gonna say is, Thank you to everyone who sent wonderful comments in the last video for it being the 50th episode and me showing off the new pup who is trying to get on the bed that's behind the camera right now, but it's too high for him, so he's a little bit mad about it. Um, and for the big subscriber jump in the last one. So yeah. It, it just reading all of the comments really just like made me feel some type of way and it was very overwhelming and really special and I thank all of you for continuing to watch. It makes me sitting in my guest bedroom um, seem like I'm not just talking to my phone. Um, so yeah, thanks to everyone who continues to watch and comment and say fun things and yeah, be a part of this fun little community that we built together. It's really something special. So in the, not coming over and hitting the tripod, Fran, go lie down, please. Thank you. I'm not cutting that out. That's real life, y'all. Um, so in the last episode, I said since I hit 25 hundred subscribers that I would do a giveaway of a couple patterns uh, and so I figured why we should just start the video off like that right like let's just go starting off a new year well a new podcasting year um, so what I did was I went old school like Chevis and I hearted all of the comments, so if you wrote something and uh, I didn't get back to you, I didn't get back to anyone, I don't think, um, because I wanted to wait until I recorded this to write down all of the names of the people who were like, oh, like, if I could get a pattern, I would love X, Y, and Z. And so I just went through and I hearted everyone while I was writing down names. So don't think that I was like being shady or anything. I was just trying to keep things straight in my head so that I wouldn't have to go back later and be like, oh, I commented, but did I write it down? 
anyway, the long process. So what I did is I wrote all the names down and I put them in this um, hat that I just was around our house. This is Aloha, but obviously it's upside down because I don't want to spill all of them. So I put all the names in here and um, I was gonna pull them before, but I thought it might be fun so you all don't think that I'm cheating to just mix them up and pull them in front of you so we can all be surprised together. Okay, so here's what I will say about that. So people's, what are we calling it? Handles, names, whatever, like whatever YouTube account you're, you were writing a comment under, that's the name that I wrote down and that I'm gonna call off. So if you were accidentally in Big Red 95, and I say that, and you don't know that that's you, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, also, if you have your government name on there, and I read it off, and you're like, uh-oh, not you spreading on my business, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna put my glasses on so I make sure I, I can see um, what I wrote earlier. So what I'll do is I'll pull the names and then I'll go back in the last video and I will, I'll comment under the person that won. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll comment under the person that won and then you all, if Ravelry is accessible to you, just send me a, a message on Ravelry with the pattern that you had written in your comment here on YouTube and then I can do a little cross check and I'll make sure to gift you the pattern. Okay, does that sound good? I hope everyone got all of that. I'm confused because I'm literally making it up right now. Okay, here we go. So we're just going to do this and I said I was going to pull three. So our first one is going to be this one and it's <laughs> I just turned it around and no one could see is uh, whiskers and knits that's number one whiskers and knits is that what that says yes congrats so that's number one where am I going to put these so I remember I'll set them on top of this little thing okay that's number one shaky 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 I won't I won't even look just in case you're like you can see the people's names okay here's the second one This is Jane Friedman. Friedman? Friedman? I would say. Janie, my bad. Can you read your own handwriting? I cannot. Janie Friedman or Friedman. I hope you know that it's you. I'm gonna comment, so it's fine. That's number two. Number three, I said I would do three. Uh oh, don't fall out the back. Pulling, let's go down to the bottom. Next up we have Jennifer Richmond. Jennifer Richmond. And you know what, just because, let's just pull two more. You know, Potiversary episode, I said I was gonna give away three patterns, let's give away five, why not? Let's just, I'm feeling generous, I guess. Okay, here's the next one. Next person is, oh, um, there's a lot of underscores, but it's S-Y-L-S -S underscore unique knit. Boom, that's you. Actually, I think I know who this is. That's so funny. Okay, that's number four. And last, certainly not least, I mean, all of you are winners in my eyes. Every single one of you. Here we go. Last last one is Angie, yeah, Angie Anderson. Sweet. Okay, so those are my five. I'm gonna put this over here. My five winners are here. I'm gonna fold them and I'm gonna put them in my pocket and I will send these people a message after this video goes up. Mm, I'll send them a message on Wednesday. So it's Monday now. I'll send them a message on Wednesday um, 
just so that gives people t time to actually watch the episode. Otherwise, it's like, girl, I'm email or I'm sending you a message and <laughs> you haven't even watched yet. I want you to be surprised. Okay, so that's that. Great, we love a giveaway. Second thing, for those who are entering on Ravelry under the flasher socks, I, for this episode, was supposed to have a um, a prize to give away. And what I decided a couple days ago was I'm going to wait to pull like the third quarter prize until after I get back from Rhinebeck. That way I can buy something there as a prize and then that would be so fun. So I think I'm going to wait to do that. So if you haven't put in, you still have until the end of this weekend and then yeah, I'll pull someone after that. Sweet. Okay, amazing. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I know. Okay, so two giveaways. And then, um, in the last episode, I talked about... So, okay, two things that made me laugh. I said something about, like, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> not me doing an hour-long episode. Like, no one wants to sit and watch me for three hours. And so many of you were like, bring on the three hour episodes, <laughs> which honestly brought me joy. Cause I was like, I'm just sitting here being silly. And that episode ended up being almost an hour. And I was like, whoa there, buddy, you need to calm down. Sorry, the glare, me seeing the glare on my glasses from the window is getting on my nerves. So that made me giggle. And I appreciate you all. I'm glad that people like sitting and just hanging out <laughs> and listening to me. And then the second thing was, oh, a bunch of people wrote and sent me messages either as a comment on YouTube or even over on Instagram saying that they enjoyed me showing the yarn that I got from my friend's friend. For those of you who saw the last episode, um... Yeah, and I was like, oh, this isn't even like all that I got. I was just like showing some of it and people were like, oh, we would love to see a full haul video of everything you got. Now, while I will watch those videos myself, I wasn't sure if people would be into that. So the fact that people wrote back and were like, hey, this is really crazy that you got all that stuff. Like, we'd love to see everything that you got. I think I'm gonna work on just doing a haul video. So it won't be like a normal podcast. It'll just be me. Maybe I'll even switch up my location, just sit somewhere else and it'll be its own separate thing. It'll just be a haul video, whatever. Um, and it won't be like me showing what I'm working on and stuff like that. So maybe I'll wait. I'll try to figure out some time before I can do that. I feel like this week is very packed for me. So I'll figure that out. And then the next thing that I wanted to talk about is, so um, I'm going to Rhinebeck, which is crazy to me. It'll be my first time. And I'm wondering if people would like to see sort of like a, a recap type thing or just like a vlog styled this was my time my 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 what is what are words this is like my experience is my first time going to Rhinebeck sort of thing like would you all be into that I was thinking about doing some filming but I was like eh, if like why but also it could be fun if no one wants to watch that just for me to like have as a memory that I can put together for myself and be like oh yeah I remember like we did this, we did this, whatever. So let me know. There's a lot going on. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I think that's it. I think that's all of the things that I have to talk about. I'm super excited to go. I'm like, I'm getting a little bit nervous, but like for me, nerves usually means that I'm excited about something. Like I would, I would get like, nervous a little bit to go on stage when I danced and if I didn't feel nervous I was like oh this isn't good um so yeah I'm a little bit nervous but I think it's going to be a really dope time um I'm excited to meet a bunch of people 
who have reached out and said, oh my gosh, like I'm going to, can't wait to meet you. So that'll be fun. If you see me there and you're gonna be there, feel free to come up and say hello. As long as it's not like at an awkward time, I don't wanna like, I don't know what kind of food they have, but like eating a hot dog and then someone comes up and is like, oh my God, like, I don't want to meet you with a mouthful of food, basically. <laughs> Let's keep it to where, like, I'm not consuming things. Uh, and I'll be at Woolen Folk on, what is that, Friday? I mean, music and yarny goodness. i got to be there. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a really dope trip. Um, right. All right. Enough of me chat-chatting. Uh, let's get into some things that I'm working on. I feel a little bit bad if I'm being honest because everything I'm working on with the exception of one thing is like the same stuff that everyone's already seen but I have made a little progress on everything. It's like I'm trying to push ahead and be sort of monogamous but like it's not working because everything is just like work on me. So all right let's do this. Okay, first thing is I made some pro progress on my uh, Earth and Air sweater. So here's a photo. This is a sweater by James and Watts, and I've said this before, but I test knit this um, when they were going to put the pattern out originally. And I'm doing it in the same colors that I tested it in, but in a bigger size. I think I'm doing, I wanted like a lot of positive ease. So I think I'm doing like the 50 bust size. I don't, I don't remember where that fell in the, in the lineup of numbers, but I'm doing a, a much bigger, not much bigger. It's like two, it's like two sizes larger than I should be doing. Um, I'm using Knit Picks, so this is their Aloft in Kanai, and this, or Kanai, and this is the Wool of the Andes in Cobblestone Heather. Love both of the colors together. I think, where am I going to put this? I think the last time I showed you all, I had, where was I? I just finished the front, and I was going to start working on the back of the sweater. So, here's where I am. I finished the back. Hi, can you see my face? I finished the back and I did one sleeve. What? So exciting. So I've already, ooh, please don't fall off. I've already picked up for the second sleeve and just did like some of the beginning setup rows and just getting things started. Um, now my goal, it's a little bit see-through, but like I plan on wearing a shirt underneath. Um, love it. So for this, the pattern is written for it to be cropped and I, um, I whatever, let's say if the size that I'm knitting said for it to go like knit to 11 inches after, um, oh, lit, no, 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 no. Cause it's bottom up. So it was like knit 11 inches and then separate front for front and back. And I did 15 inches and then I started the separation. And the same thing for the sleeves. Like I wanted them to be a full sleeve um, or I'm hoping, ugh, I'm hoping that when I um, block it, that I can make it so that the sleeve comes a little bit onto my hand. Just because of like the lightness and the airiness of the sweater, I feel like that will be really hot. So um, it's, it's going to be way bigger than it should be, but I'm loving it. When I, when I tried it on after I did the three needle bind off for the shoulder seam. Um, I was already like, oh, I'm gonna love this once it's blocked because it'll open up some and it'll be like the roominess that I want in it. And the same thing with the sleeve. It hits me just at like the break in my wrist. And yeah, I want it to be a little bit longer once it's blocked. And I think I can get that out of it if I not aggressively block, but like do just a little bit of tugging to it. So. 
yeah, that's that. I'm enjoying it. My my goal was to have that to take on this trip with me, which is in, uh, well, at the time of me recording this is in, well, I have two more days before I leave. So two more, yeah, is that right? Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh no, three more sleeps until I leave, but I leave quite early. So we'll see. If not, it's like no big deal because it's not like I don't already have Another sweater that I just finished that I wanted for the for wearing to this event. Um, and like I have other ones. It's fine. Just grab them and throw them in the bag. And it looks like it's going to be kind of cooler weather. So that should be really dope too. All right. So that's thing one. Thing two is... Oh, I'm just dropping things. Okay. So I'm working on these socks from the latest issue of Pom Pom Quarterly. They're the, I always forget the name of these. Kumiko socks by Yuka. Honestly, the neutral pair is cute, but this was the pair that like made me really excited. So they have here uh, the shadow from the camera. Um, they have a really fun texture on the top of them and like the construction is just so wild to me um that i was like i have to make them so i'm using all of the leftovers from my shawlography which was the what year are we in 22 that was a 2021 stephen west mystery make along so i'm just using the scraps from that to make this and the last time you all saw these i still had a little bit of the soul to do so it's crazy that I'm doing these on like two sets of needles. So these are done on a US one or 2.25. And I mean, I'm they're bottom up, I guess, question mark. Cause the construction is just so not what you would think of for a sock. Not what you would conventionally think of for a sock. I'll say that. So last time I was about here-ish on these and um so i finished the sole of the foot so now the toe is done the sole of the foot is done and then you have to do a german short row is that right yes german short no yes <laughs> short row heel i think um and if i'm being honest i feel like in the past i've tried that heel and i was like mm, it's kind of not for me but doing it in this i really enjoyed it and yeah, it, yeah, I was like, oh, why did you not like it last time? So here are three colors. So if I set it like this, the, the like sole of the foot is done. And now I've started, I've done two, three maybe, repeats of the patterning that's on the instep that will go all the way up and be like the, like around the ankle part before I start the cuff. And so, yeah, the way that you attach it is really cool. I've done this way of attaching before by like, I mean, I don't want to say because it's like in this book, but like there's a way of attaching it that if you've done um, like a Vertices Unite or something, then you know, <laughs> that was so just like vague, then you would know how it's constructed. Anyway, it's really cool. I'm loving it. And... Ugh, this little quilt, is it called a quilt stitch, I think, is, it's just so good. And it's super easy to do. And I think it looks beautiful. So those are those. I'm really excited. This is that gray color that's going to continue all the way up. And then my cuff will be, ooh, it looks really bright right now. Um, again, I'm coming to you and like I'm going to lose the light from outside in a little bit. So these are really bright and fun and just really cool. I worked on these a little bit, direct, like maybe a couple days after the last episode, but haven't really touched them since because I've been, I was like, if I wanna, if I honestly wanna wear this sweater on this trip, then I have to plug away at it and <laughs> like devote a lot more time to it. Like I ended up taking it on the bus for a while too. I was just like, knit faster 
All right, that's that. Oh my gosh, wait, I forgot I had these. So in addition to me taking that sweater, my other bust knitting is just, I mean, these are truly bust knitting. Like I own, I just keep this in my backpack and pick them up when I'm, tra when I'm in transit. So these are just a pair of vanilla socks. And I'm using Knit Picks Felici in the color Bayou. And these are great. So I cast these on thinking I was just gonna do a regular toe up sock. And once I got a little bit past the toe, I'm knitting them toe up, I decided that I wanted to try the Magic Heel, which is by Autumn Acorn. Um, Cause I've seen a few people do it now and I was like, oh, I wanna see what that's all about. Um, but I'd already cast on like as if I was just going to do a vanilla sock. So once I got to where you start the heel, which in the back you can see on these, maybe, yeah, you can see there's like some ribbing. Um, I had to like slightly fudge the pattern so that it worked out the way that, that the pattern for the heel is written or like that sock is written. Um... But like it was easy enough to do. I'm really digging it. It's like super stretchy, obviously, because it's ribbing. Um, but I'm really interested to see what the fit is like. I realized the other day as I was knitting these, obviously they don't match, but they're also um, upside down from each other. <laughs> so like the stripes go in the other order. I guess you can only tell with like the two green, like the dark green and the light green. This one has a light green and the dark green. But whatever, who cares? It's fine. They're like sort of the same. Um, yeah, so these are great. I don't have very much more to go on these. Um, yeah, there's not too much of the yarn left. So I'm probably gonna knit a little bit more on these. I might bring these along with me on the trip cause that'll give me something to do on the plane ride. And if we're just sitting around so I can totally finish them while I'm gone, it'll be mindless cause it's just stocking it now until I want to do the cuffs. So that's that. Oh, <laughs> just like, what have I been working on? I was hesitating whether or not I should show this because if I'm being honest, y'all, I was thinking about this not earlier, as in like earlier today, but like earlier as in like yesterday, the day before, I'm like, I shouldn't even show this because it's kind of embarrassing that like it's not done, but like embarrassing to who? Embarrassing to me because I think that it should be finished. That's silly, which, and we'll talk about it in a second. I've been having to tell myself lately, um, hey friend, it's not a race. Like, who, who are you trying to finish all of this stuff so quickly for? And the answer is me. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to finish it because I'm like, I should be done with this. But like, says who? Says me. So whatever. So I am going to show. I, I don't have all the colors here, but I do want to just be like, I am working on it. So this is my Lava Lake. Which, oh my gosh, what's the right... What's, my Lava Lake by Stephen West. I'm covering my face, I know. So I'm like, I'm loving the fade. Um, I'm almost done, y'all. I have, let me see. I was looking at one. I like have four more pattern repeats and then it's over, which basically means where I am in the pattern, I have to fade like my color A and color B for a hot minute and then just do the color A to finish it off. So like I am so close to being done. Like even, where's my progress keeper? So like here's where I was last time. So like I, ooh, don't you dare. So, like, I did do a lot on it. It's just, I just feel like I should be done with it. <laughs> I am really, I'm still really enjoying the yarn. The yarn is Ryan yarn, and there's a bunch of colorways, which once I'm done, I'll tell you all what they are again. 
it's really soft it's really beautiful the fade is like so bomb um and i was thinking about keeping it for myself but i might give it away <laughs> I do love it though, so let me like block it and like try it on, take some photos, see what the vibe is before I'm like, go be off in the world, but who knows? Okay, last thing I wanna show, weird, this one's gonna be short, I guess it's making up for the last one being so long. Last thing I wanna show is my MCAL for this year. So behind me, which I can't believe I haven't done this sooner, well, especially in this setup, um, this is my 2020 MCAL. So this was Slipstravaganza. All of this yarn is Murky Depths and I don't remember what the colors were. Oh, I do. Well, two of the, my main color was Brute and um, this blue color was called cornflower maybe and I don't remember the other two off the top of my head but I loved this it was a blast it was my first MCAL so I did 2020 2021 and now I'm on to 2022 now you all the same thing I'm like it's Monday the clues been out since Thursday and I'm like I should be so much further along than I am and I'm not and like, I was feeling some type of way about it, but I'm like, why are you, why, 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 why? Do you feel like you need to rush? There's no rush, friend. Just do it at your own pace. Say yes, don't stress. Also, I wanna get that sweater done. So let me show my, oof, that was so close. It almost fell on the floor. So here are my two colors that I'm working with currently. Oh, if you don't wanna see this, like, I mean, if I'm being honest, it's not really a spoiler, you all, because there's not much to see here. <laughs> so, watch at your own discretion. So, here are my two colors, uh, my main and my contrast color, caked up. These are both murky depths as well, and this color is destroyed, and this color is celadon. They're both greens. This one's like a gray-green, I've decided. Yeah, I've, I've decided. Uh, and this one is a, dark, a much darker green, but I love the way the two look together. And this yarn, the tag fell on the floor, so pardon. Uh, this is her Harbor base. And so that is 100% Superwash Merino. It's a single and it's 400 yards to 100 grams. So here's, that was horrible. Try to balance. Here's her tag. Have you done this before? It looks like you haven't. Okay, boom. Check her out. All right, so here's where I am. You all literally, it's not much. No, you're, please don't be impressed. Or you're not gonna be. Maybe you will be. Maybe, maybe you don't care. <laughs> so, I've literally just done like the two setup things, I haven't started any repeats. But I do think that the colors, like honestly low key in this lighting right now, it looks like it's black and white, but it's not. So if I hold it a little bit closer, you can see the two different greens. We're making these fun little chevrons with these little holes. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about this pattern so far. I think it's fun. Um, it definitely keeps me interested, just the way that it's working up. I just wish that I had more time to work on it. And I think over the next couple of days, I'm gonna plow through and try and get some more progress done because I might bring this with me as like sitting around the house in the evening knitting, especially since the second clue comes out on Thursday. Um, I mean, at this point, I'm already I'm saying behind, but like behind by whose standards? <clears throat> I'm behind for me, um, but I don't know. I feel like this is easy enough, easy enough for me to do um, if I was hanging out with people just to finish it and then see what the next clue is and start that. But we'll see how I'm feeling once I start packing over the next couple days if I feel like 
taking that with me and like lugging it around or whatever. Not lugging, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> so that's it. I'm really excited to continue working on that and see where it's going to go because I'm already like, okay, this is a little bit wild. <laughs> Like, what's going to happen next? Yeah. Um, all right, y'all. So I think that's it. I don't have a music rec this week. I totally just was like, I have to get in here and do this now. And I didn't go over to, like, the collection to be like, what should we do today? So definitely in the next episodes, I will make up for that. Um, yeah. Oh, before I get out of here. Um, also, if you are doing the Mystery Lidden Along or you're doing any other Stephen West uh, pattern currently, I am co-hosting the Westies Unite Knit Along with the boys over at Needles at the Ready and that Knit Along goes until the end of November. So if you are uh, making one of his patterns, feel free to, uh, there's a chatter thread in both on both of our Ravelries and an FO thread dump stuff in there, post them on both, tag us on Instagram. The, the hashtag on Instagram is N-A-T-R peace. Um, so yeah, use that. It's a really fun hashtag to follow. Like I've been enjoying seeing, I like wait a couple days and then like s just like go crazy scrolling through and liking everybody's stuff or commenting on things when people have finished stuff. Um, yeah, super inspiring just to see like what other patterns people out in the verse are making um yeah so that's been a good time so feel free to jump in on that if you wish especially if you're doing the mcal this year and i feel like there was something else i was supposed to tell you all oh yeah let me know if like uh a like rhinebeck recap vlog type thing might be your jam right and i can put something together for that I'm going to be recording anyway, just because I like want to document my experience in going there. Um, so if it goes out into the world or not, <laughs> we shall see. Um, I'll take a look at the footage first and then I'll decide after. Um, yeah, I think that's it for me, y'all. If there's something that you uh, that I mentioned and you didn't um, quite get, let me know. For the people that um, I pulled your names for patterns at the beginning of this episode, please reach out to me. I'm gonna go over again and comment on you all's comments in the last post or in the last video. And yeah, shoot me something over on Ravelry and I will send you all the pattern that you wrote down. And other than that, um, I hope everyone has a beautiful two weeks and stay safe and you're making something beautiful. And um, yeah, if I don't see you at Rhinebeck, I will see you all in this uh, medium <laughs> in two weeks. All right. Until then, make a peace, spread some peace, peace.